All right, so today we're bringing you to a neighborhood that is one of the best kept secrets in San Antonio. Like a lot of people don't even know about it, but if you wanna live in a, a plush place with some very nice homes, big yards and big homes, well, you can't miss this video because today we're taking you to one of the top neighborhoods in San Antonio. Today we're going to Almost Park. Hey, my name is Jesse Lopez. I'm the owner of Blue Utopia Realty. I'm a real estate agent here in San Antonio, Texas. It helps families like you relocate to San Antonio. What I do is I cover all these different neighborhoods and I don't just talk to you about them. I don't put a green screen behind me and show you pictures. I actually take you out into the neighborhoods, show you the homes, show you the amenities and the lifestyle that surrounds living in that neighborhood. So if that's something that you'd like, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and tap on that bell so you're notified every single single time I put out a new video. So today we're here in Almost Park. Actually, we're in Almost Park uh, Basin, which is a sports complex. It's located right off of Highway 281. We're about five miles from the airport and about four miles from downtown San Antonio. So it's conveniently located right in the hub, right in the center of San Antonio. If you wanna be you know, somewhere where you get access to all the highways, into the city, outside the city and all that, this is definitely a great place for you to live. Some other other things that are around here if you like shopping we have the quarry market which is located right off of highway 281 as well and then we have other things that are really nearby if you haven't seen this video right here about alamo heights there's museums there's parks there's all kinds of things this park alone has a ton of soccer fields and a ton of baseball fields so if you're into running jogging or playing sports then this is going to be a great place for you to live because you're literally going to walk past those trees is almost park so uh, that's just the kind of living that you're going to get if you move into this part of the city so almost park is broken up into two parts almost park terrace and then almost park right so there's two different sets of uh, demographics, if you would. The people who live in Almost Park Terrace, the average household income is about $127,000 per year. And then those that live in Almost Proper, which is the city, it's gonna be about $179,000 per year. The average age for both is 39 years and people that are 18 years and younger, it's about 23% and then 18% for 65 and older. So that's pretty much the demographic. The crime rate here in Almost Park is at a four. Uh, it's pretty much on par with the national average, so you're not going to see any heightened type of activities or anything like that. I will tell you, though, that Almost Park, their police department is extremely active. If you're driving around these neighborhoods or you get out and you're walking and you just don't look like you're going to fit in or you look like you don't fit in, you're absolutely going to get some kind of confrontation with the police. They're going to ask you what you're doing or how they can help you. So Almost Park is a very safe place in that respect that the police department is very active and they're patrolling the neighborhood which is not a big neighborhood at all but as you'll see when we get into the truck and we start looking around so the neighborhood or the, the city of Almost Park is a pretty small place, but it's surrounded by other affluent neighborhoods like Alamo Heights, Monte Vista, and uh, Taro Hills. So it's really nestled right into the center of town. And the homes that you're gonna find here are also a little bit older and uh, they're just massive. You'll see when, when we go out into uh, the streets and show you that. But as far as schools, here in Almost Park, you're gonna either go into Northeast Independent School District or the Alamo Heights School District. And the dividing line for that is McCullough. If you're living in the east side of McCullough, which is a dividing line, you're gonna go into Alamo Heights School District. Alamo Heights is rated one of the top schools in San Antonio, and it has two elementary schools, uh, Cambridge Elementary, Woodridge Elementary. It has Alamo Heights Middle School, and then Alamo Heights High School, which currently, as we're videotaping this, Alamo Heights High School is getting a major renovation. They're actually knocking it down and rebuilding it from scratch. You'll see from the video, they have a superb football field. They have a great athletic program, great academics, and a lot and a lot of different types of uh, extracurricular activities and clubs that your kids can go into.
went to. And that's one of the reasons it's rated A+. Uh, there's going to be a link down below so you can go into the Alamo Heights School District and actually look at their, go into their website, check out all the things that they have to offer. And also in my website, blueutopiarealty.com, there's an actual section where you can search for homes just in Alamo Heights. And same thing goes for Almost Park. All you got to do is click a button and all the homes that are available. So speaking of the homes that are available here in Almost Park, you can buy a home in uh, Almost Park Terrace starting at about $250,000. And then the highest one that is listed currently on the market is $2.5 million. And that's in Almost Park uh, proper. So there's a lot of different things to see. Uh, we're gonna get to the road right now and show you all those things. Um, but let's go to the other side of the McCullough. If you're on the other side of McCullough, you're gonna be in the Northeast Independent School District. The high school for the Northeast Independent School District is Edison High School, which was rated a C plus by NEA. Uh, you have Mark Twain, which we've talked about Mark Twain in different videos. That one is also rated a C, I think, or C or C minus. And then you have Agnes Cotton Academy, which is a kinder all the way to eighth grade school. And if you're interested in sending your child to a private school, and these are from ninth grade to 12th grade, so uh, you have St. Luke's, which is a, a Christian church, and that runs about $24,000 a year in tuition. Uh, after that, you have Incarnate Word University or the University of Incarnate Word. And that one is about $12,000 $12, per year. And then you have, last but not least, St. Anthony's High School, which is also about $12,000 per year. So you have very you have a lot of options. You can send them to private school, you can send them to public school. Um, if you're in the Alamo Heights School District, you're gonna get the best, right? A plus and uh, all those Christian schools I just named, St. Luke's, uh, University of Incarnate Word, and St. Anthony's, those are also rated A. Now, Northeast Independent School District, if you go to that, that side, public school, then you're gonna get about a C average in uh, school rating. So there's a link down below. Uh, niche.com you can go look at it you can do your own research and look at the different schools that are available there's a lot of other schools that are available in the higher education department you have again the university of incarnate word uh, they specialize in they have a nursing program and they have all kinds of different degrees so the link will be down below and then you also have a community college which is san antonio college which is going towards downtown so plenty of options plenty of uh, resources down in the video description below and and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, do me a favor, give me a call, like hit this QR button or a QR code right here, schedule an appointment, let's get on a call, let's see what it is that you and your family are needing when you're moving to San Antonio, that way we can ease the stress of moving. So uh, you have any questions, there's a QR code, schedule a call, or just uh, my phone number should be right here, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, uh, smoke signal, don't worry, I'll answer them all, I have your back when you're moving to San Antonio. So let's go ahead and jump on the truck. Let's go do the favorite part, my favorite part of the video. Let's go out, take a look at the different the neighborhood itself, the different homes that are available, and you'll see why so many people fall in love with Almost Park. All right, so we're heading out of Almost Park, ba Almost Basin, right? Park uh, Sports Complex. As you can notice, there's there's trails here, and uh, you can you know come and run, jog, uh, walk the trails. If you have small children and you wanna bring them on a stroller, that's great too. If you notice right in front of me is the, it's a big wood line, right? So these woods are actually underneath US Highway 281, um, but on the other side is a neighborhood. So we're driving by here, uh, there's soccer fields. So a lot of people come play in the soccer fields, you know, the, the youth leagues come out here and they, uh, they play soccer. Straight ahead is the rest of the park, but we're gonna make a left here to go into Almost Park and show you the homes. But in a little bit, we're gonna circle around and uh, don't go away because we're gonna go uh, to where the quarry is, which is a shopping center that's in the neighborhood uh, where you can go shopping and get all kinds of stuff. They have things like Trader Joe's, they have, um, they have a movie theater, they have all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna head that way in a little bit and again we're just driving through this wooded area a long time ago i think it was in the 1800s san antonio got flooded and all of this went underwater and since then they had made a a dam to hold the water back 
but we haven't had a flood like that in in forever since then. So it's kind of just a dam that sits in the middle of a field and there's no water. So just in case you ever see that dam, it's uh, that's why, because we had a big flood. So here we are, this is the beginning of Almost Park. So you're gonna be really, really impressed by these homes because like most of the other neighborhoods that I've shown you, this neighborhood is not cookie cutter. It's not something that you're gonna find your neighbor has the same home as you do. It's gonna be a lot different. So of course they're in the higher price point. So like check out this colonial looking house right here. Nice red brick, prominent, you know, uh, pillars in the front columns. But the house next door to it looks a little French, uh, a lot of stone, uh, stonework. And, you know, you have a modern home right here. Uh, I like modern homes, but right next to it, you have a ranch style home. So uh, it's just a big mix of, of style. It just depends on what your style is. And, you know, if most people here are renovating their homes, especially right now with the interest rates that are so high, people are finding it easier and more uh, beneficial to remodel their home instead of buying a new home. And like my wife and I struggle with this. Well, we don't struggle with it. We kind of came to terms with it that we would rather uh, remodel our current home than to go buy another home. Because if you buy another home, if you buy a new home, you're going to be going into a cookie cutter neighborhood. You know, you can't find like big wide streets like these here. You uh, are definitely not going to find homes that look as majestic as these homes do. Uh, they're just going to be cookie cutter, right? They're track built and uh, all that. So that's why I enjoy showing these neighborhoods because there are options. Um, of course, these options are a little bit more expensive, but I think it's well worth the money. So that's what my wife and I are going to do. We're going to actually uh, add to our home because it's in the Alamo Heights area and it's going to just prove to be a lot nicer. But not to say that there's no new homes here. Check out these homes though. They look like something straight out of a a German a German book, right? A, a, a castle. But you have these nice stately homes. You have some that are new. Like for instance, this one right here, we're gonna go through. So that's a new build right there. So that's another thing you could do. You could buy a piece of land here and then just build whatever home you want, however you want it. And it, it'll look exactly what you what you're looking for. But these neighborhoods are very quiet. Um, as I mentioned before, the crime rate is very low. There's not a lot of uh, crime happening here. The police department does patrol these streets uh, quite often. You, you, it's regular to see them driving in and out of the neighborhood and just you know keeping an eye on uh, on things, right? So the average price we already talked about, I think it was like 650,000, somewhere around there. Uh, but some of these homes that we're going to now, as you can tell, they're a little bit smaller. And uh, this is probably where you're gonna find the $650,000 range homes. And then we're coming to the street McCullough, which is the uh, one of the boundaries or one of the main thoroughfares coming through here. If you shoot up this street all the way up, you're gonna end up in North Star Mall which is a shopping, you know, a shopping destination for, for locals. You can go in there, there's all kinds of stores there. But as you can tell, as we get further away from the Almost Basin, the homes get a little bit smaller, uh, still just as expensive. The ones that we saw first are probably more in the million, two million, three million dollar range. And these are probably about six to 900,000, maybe a million, but uh, nice cozy little cottages uh right next to a really modern home you can't see the modern home to my left but it is there so i just want to show you another thing that i like about these neighborhoods is look at the mature trees like you can't find this in a new neighborhood like when you go to a new neighborhood and i've said this in previous videos they basically just tear down every single tree on that land in order to maximize the amount of homes they put in a space. And they could have very well done the same thing here, uh, but this was obviously a long time ago. So the trees are now mature. Uh, there's there's not a, you know, there's a lot of shade. 
it just feels it just feels good that's one of the things that i like about these neighborhoods is that they're mature they're established they aren't going anywhere so here's a, a lot to our right right here you could buy this lot right here and put a nice home on it i did not check to see how much the lots were here but i know in alamo heights you can get a lot for about four hundred thousand dollars well, look at these I mean, these homes are really nice lots of shade can you imagine yourself living in one of these homes and you know what since you're since you are watching do me a favor comment below uh what do you look for in a home what are you looking for when you move to san antonio is it you know a place close to a lot of amenities do you want a big home do you want a small home do you want you know but what is it that your family needs when you're moving to San Antonio? Because that's really why I'm here. That's really why I do these videos is because I like to help people. I've helped people from all over the United States and all over the world. Uh, we've uh, helped people from New York. We've helped people from Guatemala. We've helped people from Korea, from everywhere, like all the corners of the globe. We've helped people when they move here to San Antonio. And partly was because, you know, I was in the military. I served 23 years and I moved around a lot and I didn't have any kind of help. So I kind of empathize with that. And I know that moving is stressful and I want to make sure that I ease as much stress from your move as possible. So give me a call, hit the QR code, you know, pause the video, uh, hit the QR code, schedule a call and uh, we can get you and your family where it's going to fit you the best. So this is a winding road. The dam's coming up right here that, that I mentioned a minute ago. Um, but this is a winding road that's right next to US Highway 281. So I don't know if you heard that, but you could hear the highway um, from this road. But look at these lots. These lots are huge. These homes are, are pretty big. This almost reminds me of driving through here kind of reminds me like of an amusement park like jurassic park or something like that uh just because there's so much foliage so many trees um it's very very private wow take a look at this home right here like you can't see the home but if you could see, let me see can you see that check this out check this home out that is wow like I can't even see the entire home, but you know, that's a, a really nice home. So yeah, what are you looking for in a home? Look over here, we're talking about just building a new home and uh, we have this one right here being built. So, it is possible to buy a piece of land here and uh, to buy a lot and then build your own home. Like it's that it's doable. Um, of course, some things that you need to consider when you are building a home is where are you going to live while your home is being built? Uh, who are you going to, to contract to build the home, right? If you're moving to San Antonio, you probably don't know anybody here. Uh, let's just assume that. But, you know, we are a resource. So not only do we show you neighborhoods and help you buy a home, but if you need resources, you know, you need somebody that that's going to be, you know, build the house or a barn dominium. That's that's pretty, uh, um, what do you call it, pretty popular right now. Uh, people want to build barn dominiums or if you want to build a custom home, if you want to build uh, a home that's just a track home, there's plenty of builders here in San Antonio. But consider us a resource like we'll guide you and uh we'll we'll give you all the information you need to make a an educated decision um but that's what we're here for so give us a call you know drop us a line text email uh 
we're, we'll be glad to help you. So this is pretty much, uh, pretty much the neighborhood. Like you can tell the looks of the homes, they're all different. They're, uh, these are again, a little bit smaller than the other ones, but I mean, you can get a sense of what these homes are like. And just by looking at the, you know, the front of the house, the driveways, the neighborhood, the trees, you can tell that they take a lot of pride in this area and uh, they want to keep it that way. That's why, uh, you know, I think that's why maybe the, the police are always active here because they want to make sure that the residents of this area uh, are happy and, uh, and safe. So let's head over to the outskirts of the neighborhood because I want to show you some of the amenities. And then I did mention before that the uh, the quarry was right here, uh, right next to right next to Almost Park. So I'm going to take you to the quarry, show you where that's at, uh, so you can see how close, you know, shopping and entertainment is. So let's make a right right here and head over that way. So you can see by the the yard signs there. These are in the Alamo Heights School District. All right, so the street that we're coming up to is McCullough, which again, we, we kind of got on it a minute ago. We're gonna go up McCullough all the way to Bassey Road, which will in turn take us into the, uh, the quarry. Here's a, a really cool tidbit of information is you notice there's a train track right here. See that train track? So that train track borders almost park, but Union Pacific has an agreement and through city council, they have an agreement with Union Pacific and the city of Almost Park that they are not allowed to toot their horn while they're moving through here. So they actually have where if the, the train does buzz their horn, actually, you know what, as I tell you the story, I'm gonna turn right here because there's, there's another place that's really cool here that you might be interested in. It's a San Antonio Gun Club. So let me finish my story. If they toot their, their horn, and a resident of Almost Park annotates where it was, where the sound came from, and uh, you know they report it to uh, Union Pacific, they will actually be fined and they will pay a fine because they tooted that horn. And that's just, that's how, uh, how much control a community or a city can have with noise, right? They, they wanna preserve the, uh, the aesthetics of the homes. They wanna preserve the aesthetics of, you know, the uh the community and that's one of the ways they do it they don't allow union pacific to actually toot their horn i know it sounds weird toot their horn but here here's the san antonio gun club so if you like if you like shooting guns and this is going to be mainly shotguns uh you can come up here you can shoot skeet you can shoot all kinds of uh shotgun uh activities and it's funny because it's right alongside highway 281 and people don't even realize that they're getting shot, somebody's shooting towards them, but it is a shotgun, so it's not gonna go that far. Uh, I myself have been there with a buddy of mine. We go shoot ski, you know, plays, and uh, have a good time, but that's a, that's a pretty cool place to go check out if you like shooting guns, uh, and it's right here, right on the northern tip of Almost Park. So another thing you can see, there's some ballparks here, some uh, baseball diamonds, uh, we do love our sports in San Antonio, so you can, you know, play football, play soccer, play baseball. And if you have children that are, there's leagues for all ages, actually. So if you're an adult and you like playing those things, they can, can do that. But they also have children's leagues that you could play uh, sports, get involved in sports. So we're coming to Bassey Road and we're going to take a right and we're going to go into the Quarry Market, which is again, just I mean, this is just like what, maybe three quarters of a mile from Almost Park. And if you like golfing, there's also the Almost uh, Park Golf Club or golf, uh, golf course. You can go golfing here. If you like golfing, do me a favor, comment below because I'm actually having a golf tournament, which is for veterans on September 16th. It's called the Stars and Stripes uh, Veteran Golf Tournament. Um, 
if you're going to be in San Antonio and you like golfing, let me know. Put in the comments below. If you are in San Antonio and you want to get involved, let me know as well. But you can see we have a golf course right here to, to my left. And then uh, you can't really see with the cameras. But if you like golfing, this is a great place to go. So as we're headed to the quarry, this is, uh, we're gonna go under US Highway 281 and then it's an immediate left into the quarry. We're gonna drive around there real quick, show you what kind of stores are you know available and uh, you get a sense of the shopping and all that good stuff around here. So I remember I mentioned the, the flooding that occurred a long time ago. If you look at that pole right here to our right, right underneath the 281 you're gonna see that there's uh markers on there and those are markers in feet you see them they're they're markers in feet so that'll tell you how deep the water is so it goes all the way up to 20 feet and that's how deep it could get in this area if it were to flood so this is the quarry there's this really nice spot right here. It's called the Corner Bakery Cafe. I like going there. They have some really gr great baked goods, uh, some delicious coffee, great way to start the morning. But there's another place called Snooze, which is right up the right up the this building here. And you can go in there and have mimosas. You can have Bloody Marys. You know, you can okay have alcoholic beverages for breakfast, and that's a popular spot. It's always you know a lot of people there enjoying you know food. And then for shopping, you know, you have other stores like Old Navy, you have Michael's, and we have a Whole Foods right here. And then across the street is another shopping center. There's a Trader Joe's. So those are the kind of shopping centers that you like to go to or stores to shop for food. You definitely have that option here when you live in Almost Park. Well, there's people shopping. School started today uh, for our children. My son just went to, to school. He started the fifth grade. And uh, let me go this way so I could show you snooze. You got crumble cookies. If you're a, you got a sweet tooth like I do. But this is snooze right here. They have some really good breakfast but you can have some breakfast with, with a drink. And then one more place I'm gonna show you is this steakhouse right here. If you like steaks, uh, Fleming's does not disappoint. So Fleming's is one of the steakhouses here at the quarry. Uh, my wife and I come here and uh, great wine, great steaks, great presentation. They actually have a tomahawk special. I think it's like $130 for a tomahawk steak. And of course my wife and I share it, but uh, it's really good, really good food there. So you kind of get the picture, a lot of shopping areas, a lot of choices, things you can do. You know, they got a Starbucks, they got, you know, all kinds of things here, so great place to to live near you have plenty of shopping options and one last thing is there's a theater so we're going to drive by the theater real quick let this car out no maybe not i'll just keep going i was wondering if that was my wife it looked like my wife's car <laughs> my wife's shopping while i'm working how great is that but it wasn't her All right, so I'm gonna pull over here and we're gonna wrap up this video. You kind of get a, you get the idea of all the shopping. You get the idea of, uh, you know, what you could expect if you're moving here to, uh, to Almost Park. And this is really not just Almost Park. This is like right in the middle of Almost Park and, um, and Alamo Heights. So this is like right, right in the line, right? Of those two neighborhoods. 
or actually two cities. So if you were to move to Almost Park, you know, you already saw the homes. They're, they're great homes, um, lots to think about. There's a lot of amenities, there's schools, there's shopping. Like there's, this is one thing that I like about San Antonio. If you live in one of these neighborhoods in the middle of San Antonio, you're always gonna have a lot of options. Not only that, you're gonna have access to to the airport, to, to the zoo, to to all the different museums. So there's, very, there's a lot of cultural stuff uh, that you can do here. There's never gonna be a dull moment in your life. Um, so the market itself, um, Almost Park is just like any other, the other little cities here in San Antonio uh, and San Antonio in general. We have seen a slight dip in prices, in home prices, but nothing too crazy. The average sales price in San Antonio is about $375,000 for just a regular home. Um, you know, I get people that call me all the time and they, they want a cheap, a cheap home, uh, you know, as inexpensive as possible. And we can find you that. Uh, but there's going to be some, some, you know, some compromise. If you haven't watched this video right here, it's about the 10 most dangerous neighborhoods in San Antonio. Watch that video because it'll kind of give you a sense of the lay of the land. It's a report that niche.com or not niche, uh, areavibes.com put out and uh, take a look at that one. If you have any questions, you're moving to San Antonio, you need help. That's what I'm here for. We're a resource. Uh, my brokerage helps people moving here all the single time. So don't be afraid to call. Don't be afraid to ask questions. We're here to help you. Whether or not you buy a home now, in three months or three years, or maybe you don't even buy a house. You just wanna know information about San Antonio. Do me a favor, hit us up. And for now, just take a look at the rest of these videos and uh, find where you wanna live in San Antonio. All right, we'll wait for your call. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this and we'll see you on the next video.